Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. Stand up for your country now. I always recommend you watch this broadcast with a pen and a paper. Because tonight we're going to give you new information, things you have not heard about President Trump, President Biden, all of these cases. We're going to put it into perspective for you in a very methodical way. But there's an awful lot of this. So I'm going to take the whole program tonight. I'm not going to have a guess because there's really a lot of stuff to get through here. And the research that we have put together is the best in the business. You know that already. You wouldn't be taking time out to watch and listen to the No Spin News. So we begin with the mantra, people believe what they want to believe. That's where we begin on all of this. Now, Donald Trump certainly does that. He believes what he wants to believe. And most human beings do as well. There are very few people who have an open mind about situations that make them uncomfortable. So you start there. And then you have enemies of Donald Trump. And they're legion. You've got a whole political party. And you got 90% of the corporate media. All allied against Trump. They have seized upon people believe what they want to believe to now bring criminal charges in that arena. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So yesterday, as you know by now, Jack Smith charged Donald Trump with four counts of January 6th crimes, alleged crimes, and basically conspiracy, saying that Trump knew he was making false statements about the election in 2020 and did it anyway. That's going to be almost impossible to prove for Smith, but it doesn't really matter. He just wants to get it out there, all right? Whether he wins in court or not, secondary, all right? Just keep pounding Trump and the Republican Party. Now, obviously, Trump's defense will be that he did believe and does to this day that the election was rigged. And his lawyers are going to bring in investigations in states like Arizona, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, to show the jury, if it ever gets there, that there were a lot of questions about that vote. And the states took it seriously and launched their own investigations. That's a powerful defense for the Trump people. But again, Jack Smith doesn't care. He loses, he loses. So what? He's getting revenge on Trump now and sending a message to the Republican Party You keep it up with Joe Biden, we're going to bring more charges. All right? We'll destroy your guy and your party because Trump is leading so big in the primary system. Now, you wouldn't know that Trump has a good defense by reading the New York Times, Washington Post, any of those corrupt papers, or listening to most of television news. Even the Fox News Channel is so unfocused on this, generally speaking. Man, there are, you know, guys like Turley and people like that who have a good sharp focus, but it's all over the place. I mean, they're not zeroed in on what is important. All right. So the indictment against Trump on January 6th charges is not a slam dunk. And as the Wall Street Journal pointed out today in a very astute editorial, and Wall Street Journal, no fan of Donald Trump. If Trump incited January 6th, that would have been in this indictment. If he worked in concert with anyone to make that violence happen, that would have been front page headline in this indictment. So Smith does not have that. All Smith has is this gauzy conspiracy to do whatever. I'm not a lawyer, but I I can destroy it in about 30 minutes. Okay, so his indictment is weak on these charges, Smith's. Um... But Trump is a problem because the case is going to be held in Washington, D.C. Trump has to surrender tomorrow there in front of an activist judge. What do I mean by that? Very liberal judge who has aggressively sentenced people convicted for January 6 crimes. This judge is no fan of Donald Trump or the Republican Party. So right away, the Trump lawyers have to get that venue changed, probably into northern Virginia or try. Now, the judge is going to say no, okay? But then the appeal process opens up, you see? So 
the Trump lawyers, the first thing they do is go, we can't get a fair trial in D.C. Only 5% of the people in the district voted for Donald Trump. Can't possibly get a fair trial there. And the judge is anti-Trump all day long. And if the judge, as she will, say, no, 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 then you take it to the appellate division. Okay, that'll tie everything up for a while. Then the subtext to all of this, as I mentioned, is the retaliation against Joe Biden. Okay, so as I've said, Joe Biden is in trouble. Now, Congress is gone until after Labor Day. But believe me, the information already assembled proves that Joe Biden sold influence through his son, Hunter. Provable. Talk about a conspiracy. There's no doubt about it. He did it. Now, whether he got money for, to doing it, that is the open question. Because just like Donald Trump, this is what Trump and Biden have in common. Criminal intent. So, for a conviction, the prosecution on both sides have to show criminal intent. So, if Joe Biden got money, there's your criminal intent. But we don't know yet if he got money. People believe what they want to believe, so a lot of you believe he got money, but you can't prove it. On Trump's side, you'd have to prove criminal intent, and this is what Smith alleges, that Trump knew the election was legitimate, but said it was phony anyway to blow everything up. Okay, that's going to be pretty damn hard to prove with one exception. Mike Pence, the former vice president. If Pence testifies and remember, his testimony will be in print on discovery that Trump knew the elector thing, replacing electors in certain states having Pence not certify the election. If Pence comes in and says, the president knew that was phony, but did it anyway. That's huge. Pence may do it. I don't know. I don't know. But whoever interviews Pence from now on has got to ask him that question. Pence is the only thing that I believe could convict Donald Trump in this January 6th stuff. Now, not since 1862 has the federal government used this kind of power to arrive at an outcome. What happened in 1862? I bet you some of you know. Abraham Lincoln suspended habeas corpus and allowed Union troops to kick in doors and arrest anybody they wanted to save the Union. Supreme Court told him he couldn't do it. Lincoln couldn't do it. Supreme Court said, you can't do this. Lincoln did it anyway. Okay? That was the last time that the federal government has used this kind of power because the White House and the Department of Justice are working together to destroy Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Now, it's happened to lesser degree in the past, but not like this. They don't care whether you know that or not. The progressive left, which controls the White House and the Justice Department, is basically saying, blank you, we're going to send a message. We're more powerful than anybody in this country. The progressive movement is the most powerful movement. We're going to destroy the standard bearer Trump and do as much damage to the Republican Party as we can do. And nobody's going to stop us. But one entity could. And that's the Supreme Court. And believe me, they will get involved with this case. But first, before it comes to that court, it's got to be adjudicated by the other courts. Okay? The criminal court in D.C., the criminal court in Florida, on Mar-a-Lago, and then it goes up to the appellate division, the appeal, and then it goes to the Supreme Court. But the Supreme Court will have to hear this. You wait and see. It will happen. Hey, it's time to take care of your liver. Data from the American Heart Association indicates that adults with fatty liver were three and a half times more likely to have heart failure than those without. The American Liver Foundation says that 100 million Americans have fatty livers. 
These days, we throw everything at our bodies, cholesterol, alcohol, toxins, satins, cigarettes. No wonder so many of us have a sluggish, fatty liver. Your liver helps your body with hundreds of daily functions. It's time you help your liver with Liver Health Formula. Liver Health Formula is an all-natural, American-made supplement that contains 12 clinically proven botanicals to recharge and protect your liver. So try Liver Health Formula and receive a free bottle of nano-powered omega-3 to keep your heart healthy. Go to getliverhelp.com slash bill, claim your free gift. That's getliverhelp.com slash bill. Let's go to the mail. Uh, Edward, the country's falling apart. Trump has basically been indicted for free speech and thought. Trump has a right to have feelings. Uh, this republic is gone. Not yet. Not yet. Republican, the republic is not in good shape, but it's not gone. Not yet. Philippe. Bill, you're one of the very few that believe not only in America, but in the American Constitution. I do. The reason why I'm a concierge member and have read all your killing books, it appears that you have become the exception with another hand of respectable Americans. I don't know if I'm the uh, exception. What I am is unique because I combine journalism with history. I don't think anybody else does that right now. Uh, Gerald, concierge member, thank you, Gerald. I fear that we have lost our ability to function as a country. The division is so great, people stop talking with whom they disagree. I know. I know. Um, not good. Jeffrey, can the Supreme Court step in and vacate the BS charges against Trump? No. It has to be adjudicated. It has to go up the ladder. That's the way the Constitution works. John Bel Castro, Half Moon, New York. You said the landscape is going to change. In the autumn, please give me a hint. I don't know what's going to happen in September, October, and November, but I know a lot of stuff is going to blow up. But I can't, I, and I don't like to speculate. It's not, it's a waste of your time. Jerry Moody, Frisco, Texas. Mr. O'Reilly, you're the smartest man I know when it comes to insight. For the life of me, with what we know about the crimes the Bidens have committed, how in the world can 40% of the country still support Joe Biden? Because they believe what they want to believe. And out of that 40%, I'll, I'll submit to you that 25% don't know anything about it. That's why. Richard Di Donato, uh, as a former social studies teacher, I find your information uh, that you provide in your columns and those have been broadcast, give us a clear view of history that is being made today when the public does not find the FBI and the Justice Department out of control and bias is truly troubling. Again, they don't want to know. They don't want to know. And you can't do anything about that. Randy McCoy, Dallas, Texas, agree it would be a disaster if Trump showed up for the debate this month. I hope the other participants will tell us what they would do if elected. Yeah, I mean, I... Trump is very unpredictable, but I don't think he's going to show. I could be wrong, though. Just guessing on that. Kevin Ryan, Scottsdale, Arizona. If Biden is the nominee, I don't believe he will be, however. I surmise that he will refuse to debate Trump. Biden's not debating anybody. Okay, that's not happening. Uh, Trump would love to go up against Biden, but not going to happen. Okay, um, let's go to Killing the Witches. So I have signed individual books, all right, a couple of thousand of them. They're available now. So you've got to put your order in because they'll sell out very fast. Um, and then you can get the book anywhere on September 26th. But if you pre-order on BillOReilly.com, you'll get it first. Okay, so it's a good book. I think it's the fastest pace killing book. It's the 13th one. And then we have our live stage show, sponsored by WABC Radio, New York State of Mind, Paramount Theater, Huntington, Long Island, October 27th, 8 p.m. It's going to be a blast. And uh, tickets have been on sale for less than a week. I think it'll sell out over the weekend. I think so. So um, you go to BillOReilly.com, Paramount.com, Ticketmaster. You get them. Great time to be in New York in the late autumn with the leaves changing. And again, the show is going to be something you'll never forget. 
Uh, summer reading program going great. Killing Crazy Horse, Killing the Killers, Killing the Legends, and a free Team Normal baseball hat, $32.95. So get them while we have them because we're going to change our promotion soon. And the United States of Trump and any polo shirt we have, and we have a lot of great ones, Team Normal and all of that, uh, $49.95. Word of the day, do not be loudish. L-O-U-T-I-S-H. Back with a final thought in a moment. Everybody knows Chuck Norris. He's not just an action star in the movies. He's a vet, family man, big on health. Now, Chuck has spent decades of his life trying every supplement out there. Most did nothing, but a few provided dramatic changes. So Chuck Norris put them together into a drink called Morning Kick. By adding Morning Kick to his diet, Chuck says he feels better at the age of 83 than he has in years. Morning Kick combines Chuck Norris's favorite supplements into one great tasting daily drink. It's got probiotics for weight loss, prebiotics for digestion, superfoods for your muscles and joints, as well as several powerful anti-aging supplements. You'll end up with more energy, better digestion, and you'll think more clearly and feel younger. Visit mymorningkick.com slash first. That's mymorningkick.com slash first. Remember, all individuals are unique, so your results can and will vary. All right, here is the final thought of the day. You know, this country is turbulent, and Holly the Terror Dog is a little, little down about it. I had to console her last night. There she is getting consoled by me. Um, the terror dog loves her country. I mean, she's a Welsh corgi. I asked her, you want to go back to Wales? No, there's not, nothing wrong with Wales, but she's better off here. So um, I'm going to be off tomorrow. I got stuff to do. Everybody's got stuff to do, but it's the summertime. And I'm, I'm going to, as I said, I'll be here most of August, but tomorrow I'll be off and uh, continue to console the terror dog. And um, one other thing, I'm getting a lot of mail in the regular mail bag. And remember, we get thousands of letters, so. but they're from concierge members. Now, if you are a concierge member, you have a special mail shoot for you. And I, I told my guys, make it simple so everybody knows. Because, you know, the concierge membership is all about a life insurance policy for you, for your life. You ask me any questions you want about personal problems, about travel, about finances, and I'll direct you. Some questions I can't ask, can't tell you what you do with the money, but I can, you know, direct you into certain places. But that mail goes into a special place, and every day we answer it, every day. Whereas a general mailbag, if you send, if you're a concierge member and you send stuff in there, it, it can get lost. Not that we don't read them all, we do, but the process isn't as streamlined as it is for concierge members. So, number one, please consider getting to concierge membership because in this life, bad stuff's going to happen to you. It happens to everybody. And yeah, you, if you have a support system in your family, you want fresh eyes, all right? And you know, for the membership fee that we charge, remember, you get a free book when you sign up and you get all kinds of discounts. You know, you go to a lawyer for advice, it's four or five hundred bucks. Here, you got unlimited for a very small fee. So we hope you consider concierge membership. It will enhance your life. It's an extremely successful program, by the way. And if, if I wasn't doing what I say I'm doing, it wouldn't be. People would bail, but they don't because they know what's going on. Anyway, I hope you uh, got a lot of, out of this broadcast today. Know that we put a lot into this. All right, I'll be on News Nation tonight, uh, wising up uh, Chris Cuomo, I hope. Uh, but I'm coming in armed and dangerous with a lot of facts, and which is what I always do. So we're spreading the word. We're getting it out. It's all over the place. And we really appreciate you guys watching and listening to the No Spin News, and going to BillOReilly.com, I'll have a brand new column. I suspect I'm going to write about Biden and Trump on Sunday. It'll be it'll drop at noon, okay? And we'll see you 
again on Monday. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.